What's up, guys? Yeah. So today... So today, for some reason, while I was setting up earlier, we ended up having some power failure. Just randomly came out of the blue. Just shut down everything. So, kind of decided just to wait a little bit just to see what was going to happen. And then, yeah, get back into it and set everything up. But now I'm struggling with Photoshop trying to open these photos. But I was... Yeah, what have we been trying to do? Let's see. And also, it sounds like a sh space shuttle when it opens. Okay. Let's see. Photoshop's opening now. But yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Started to stream this. Sunday night because it's much a little bit easier a little bit easier to do um, and also easier for you guys to come and watch if you do want to come and watch you know and let's see let's open up Lightroom because I'm sure you guys really want to see what we're going to be editing today and I wish Okay, let's switch over to the um, editing screen so that you guys can see what we're going to be doing today. Also, let me know how the sound is. Um, I would appreciate that so that I know if you guys are enjoying this. Cool. Here we go. Now, these are the photos for today. So, Trust me, there is a lot of photos here currently, but I've kind of chosen my top three. I've now I've already edited this first one. I've already done this one, and it's kind of like a little bit hidden um, on the thumbnail, kind of blurred it out and all that. But I've already finished this one, and I'm really happy how it came out. But there's a lot of photos here, but these are my top three picks. So I've picked this one, this one. And this one. So today we're going to be editing these two over here. But if you guys want to see, there's about 93 photos here. And I've worked my way through all of them. Um, top four. Still happy with them. But I really want to focus on getting these done first. And then um, afterwards I can focus on editing the rest. Cool. Now that is all sorted. I just noticed you guys can't actually see. What's name? You guys can't actually see um, the photos down there because of the music icon and the other channel icons. But you can pretty much get the point, um, I suppose. It that is poor pace a placement on my part but it was actually just set up for that was actually just set up more for uh, Photoshop the live streams more set up for Photoshop because that's where we're going to be editing so I'm going to be closing Lightroom because we don't need it to take up some more memory it's already uh, we already have Photoshop doing that for us so yeah And you guys know the drill by now. If you have any questions on any of the editing stuff that I'm doing, please, 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 please feel free to ask so that I can, um, you know, explain to you guys because um, you're here to learn and, well, I'm here to kind of show you guys how to do it. There we go. Then this one here. I'm just putting up my helper layers, my action to open up all these 
upper layers so that just the workflow goes as smooth as possible. Cool. Everything seems healthy on my end. I mean, we can always just open up. Open over here. And I really want to get these photos done um, for today. Uh, well, not for today specifically, but I really want to get these photos done because she was such a champ. And, um, you know, it's been a while since we've done the shoot. And I just, you know, by now she deserves them. So today we're going to be editing it. And we're going to start off with a good old healing some healing here um I can just point this at my face yeah there we go it's a good old healing just waiting for this to load in oh god it's going to yep seems about right I'm just going to do some quick healing, just clean up all the strands. To be honest, I prefer the the normal healing tool here. Just uh, loosen this a bit, and just a little bit. It's going to suck. There we go. Put a little bit to my face. But yeah, I prefer this one because you can select, so I can get very accurate others So these are a little bit more fashiony type photos. So there's going to be a lot of editing happening here. M with majority of my photos, they normally are. So we're going to do a lot of skin smoothing, a lot of retouching and stuff like that, just to get it to a popping point.
Okay, so um, a little bit more needs to be done here, definitely, but this is a good starting point. Um, the, what's the name? The skin smoothing is already going to do a lot here, so I'm not going to be too fussed about this. Um, yeah, not a lot that we had to remove, not a lot that we had to clean up. Um, again, skin, like the skin smoothing is going to do wonders, so I'm just going to call this the heel layer. There we go. Now we've merged them. Cool. Um, next up is going to be skin smoothing. Now this is going to be one of my like the more convoluted steps out of this whole thing actually today. We're gonna have skin smooth um, a lot, actually. We're gonna do, but but in a, in a different way. It's not gonna be like a lot, and we're gonna make this look like plastic. We're gonna do a lot of different ways um, and get a very like type of result that I want. So um, it's not gonna be. If you guys understand, it's not gonna be like we're gonna make this look fake. This is gonna be really well done, but um, also a lot of skin smooth. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is we're going to do just the normal style of skin smoothing. We're going to be painting. Uh, and if you guys have any questions about the plugins that I use, please feel free to ask. These are all the plugins that I use for um, my editing process just to make it so much smoother. Okay, put that down. There. Gonna start. So the thing is what we have to also fix a lot of is like this 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 type of lighting was extremely harsh it was this like extremely like direct on so and also we couldn't use a lot of fill in this to actually con like um combat that harshness that the light was doing so we need to fix a little bit of the imperfections of what the light kind of um brought to light or you know actually the, br the light brought in because it was such a directional light and such a bright light so we kind of need to fix those things yeah.
But like, yeah, I really enjoy this type of stuff. It's a lot of fun. And we're going to do some dodging and burning as well to do a lot of this. Because skin smoothing is really good at um, kind of flattening as well. I mean, these areas are already so bright. I think I can just accentuate them a lot more in dodging and burning. But I think already we've got a really cool base going. Um, and we will do the rest with some more skin smoothing. Um, let's just see here. Uh, not a fan of that. We can do the rest in some more skin smoothing, but definitely um, we got a good a good working here, good good base to work with, and we can do some more. But I think now what we're gonna what I'm gonna look at here is um, we can open up some dodging and burning layers so that we can do that um, because we can always uh, do now skin smoothing the skin smoothing is not really going to affect the light pattern as much um, it's just going to affect the what's the name it's just going to end up affecting the overall texture of what we're going to do Again, if you guys have any questions, please, 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 please ask. I am completely here at your disposal. If you guys want to learn anything about uh, the retouching th stuff. So it's lucky as I at least I had a lot of um, practice in the last one. Um, do you actually see the imperfections that were in the photo already? Um, when you shoot with this style, like if you shoot often with one particular style of light, um, you and you're editing it, you can already see some of the imperfections and you know what to look for um, later in your editing. So this was a new technique that we tried, but with the previous edit that I showed you guys that already finished, um, I could easily pick up where to go look now for some of the imperfections that I only realized later uh, in the previous edit. Um, I think with the help of layer, I'm gonna have to uh, just bring up this photo a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> cause it's, super super dark in this photo
time to accentuate with dodging and burning. Again, um, color is also very um, misleading in this style of photos because you know you can't really tell what's shadows and what's not. And again, we did lose a, a lot of, um, a lot uh, of depth when we did the uh, skin smoothing. Okay. Next up, because I want that little bit smoother look, we're going to do another round of skin smoothing. This one's going to be a bit more tricky, so we'll see how it goes. That's why we do the first one first, and then we're going to do this one because I want to see first how it's going to go, and then if it doesn't. No harm, no foul.
Seems like it's going. Seems like it's working. Uh, here, here's where it's going. This dividing line. Just need to be vigilant on any big changes. Isn't that cool? Cool. Let's 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 show you guys what it looked like before and after. I think the only thing I want to do is just because I'm not a fan of the ultra smooth. Is normally I just drop this down to like eighty percent, and it does a good job at it, you know. I feel like this side kind of needs like a flare, like a big ball of light over there. But firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the eyes, make the eyes look a little bit more shiny. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, any questions so far, anybody? <sighs> there we go. It's just waiting for Photoshop to use all its resources.
there we go let's just dull that down it's a bit of more of a darker picture so we really don't need the eyes to pop that much stuff now again now I think we are done with the overall skin and or look of it now we're gonna start looking at some colors now normally I would actually have what I want to make the layer up there normally I would actually play around a little bit more in infinite color panel but there's already a color aesthetic here. We kind of did this, in, like embedded a color aesthetic into the whole image. So I'm not gonna really bother too much with the whole infinite color panel this time around. But what I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna move that, and I'm gonna change that. I think I'm gonna keep that one there. Make it uh, like make it red as well. And then all I'm gonna do is just try and mask it out of uh, the areas that we should not be affecting. Then I think it looks good. Now, my biggest thing is I want to try one more thing, maybe.
just think that blends a bit better. Now still that flare, which I think is just needed back there. Let's see. Nah, let's do it the old fun way. And all these images just for my own fun, um, just cool ideas that I came up with along the way. Well, we're just going to actually edit this single one because I um, am quite tired and you know, it is late. Okay, and then we'll do this. Brush. Center ball. There we go. I like that. Let's check what it we, we came with. So we started from there, and now we're there. What do you guys think? Actually, I might just keep the dark aesthetic. Personally, I think I'm just going to keep the dark aesthetic that we have here. Maybe even the original colors. We'll see. Let us switch over to Big Boy Cam. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually, I am going to edit just up into there today guys um i am get, uh, getting pretty tired now uh, it is getting late and i also do want to just sit out and chill a little bit in front of the tv but 
that is the photo for today. And hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. This is, like I said, I have two top three photos that I chose. Edited one. This is the second one. And I'll probably edit the last one tomorrow. Yeah. But I do truly hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys did, please uh, maybe leave a thumbs up on the live stream. And yeah, maybe tune in for the next one. Maybe press that subscribe button so that we can, well, you can get notified next time I go live or next time I upload. And yeah, a lot of cool stuff coming soon, guys. Uh, just been playing around with some new cool ideas and I'm definitely going to do some videos on them. Just wanted to make sure that they kind of work first before I make a fool out of myself on the internet. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this live. It was a lot of fun. Really just wanted to edit tonight and just, yeah, chill and hang. So yeah, without further ado, guys, see you guys next time. Peace.